Welcome back to Obermott Stock Investing. Today we are investing in France because that's the top 10 list that we have today. I looked at the top 10 list. There were a few smaller companies because it's the Cock All Stock Index. It means there are also a lot of small stocks in there and a few big ones. There are oil companies and there are electrical industrial conglomerates. You may have already noticed I'm a little bit more lightly clothed today than normal. The reason is very simple. We have a heat wave here in Europe that is just devastating. And this is actually going to influence my decision today a little bit because I'm not going to invest in oil stocks. Yes, I'm going to invest in electricity. I think that's more sustainable. And the two companies that I found in the COC uh, index in France, in the top 10 list, is first Schneider Electric with a value rank of 100. That's really good. It doesn't have a lot of growth. Uh, that's possible. Growth always measures the past. For me, that's not a, a very important indicator. And it has a safety rank of 76, which is good too. The other company in the Cuck index is uh, Le Grand. Um, the value rank of Le Grand is 98. There is a growth rank of 22, which is a little bit better. A safety rank of 82, which is a little bit higher than Schneider Electric. So you see these are two companies that are really close together. They are in the same industries, electric components and equipment. Uh, they are in the same country. Uh, they are both extra large and extra, extra large. Schneider Electric is even a little bit bigger. And I researched these stocks. I found that their main competitor is actually a Swiss company, a Swiss Swedish company called ABB. And that's the third company I got to look at because I thought if I invest, I may as well have a look at the Swiss company. Now the value rank here uh, for ABB is only 56. So, you know, safety rank is about the same, growth rank is zero. That's really bad. And when I look at this, I will probably think 56 is um, not such a good value rank, but I want to look in that, uh, into that in more details. The value ranks are just here. And what you see is value compared to the size, the revenues, and there the value rank is actually quite good. So, you know, in respect to their size, uh, ABB is valued well. Not if you compare it to profit, not when you compare it to invested capital, and it's also not bad when you compare it to the dividend yield, the price that you're paying for that stock. So what that, does it mean? It basically means that for a given size, the company has not generated as much profits as Schneider Electric and Le Grand. Let's go back to those companies. This is Le Grand. You can see here the value ranks for price to profits, price to capital, living in deals, they're all in the dark green. And if I go to Schneider Electric, it's the same, you know, all green, green, green. So the only thing that we, that really differentiates these companies is, um, in terms of value, is the fact that uh, ABB generates less profits uh, compared to the price that they're um, out for today. Um, it's an interesting remark uh, for me, I'm buying very long term. I think prices, uh, profits can change. The sizing, uh, the size, however, the size is a good indicator of um, of the, the amount of investment to, you do. So at this moment, I also want to consider ABB. Let's have a look at their websites because I think besides the financials, you want to have a good feeling about where you invest. I go to Schneider Electric. What you see here in front of you is Schneider Electric. Um, it has a very state-of-the-art website. Uh, it's all big, uh, very easy to read, you know, good pictures. I looked at, uh, I, can't, I actually clicked on investors. What I got there was this here, investor relations, the latest financial news, and very interesting down here, you can click on new investor. I think that's something really convenient, really convenient. Uh, I like that, let's see what they have on the new investor. Now we have this in front of us, an introduction, to what the company actually does. Uh, it has 170,000 employees in 100 countries. Um, it has infrastructure, industry, and IT as their divisions. 
as their businesses. And here I found that ABB is their main competitor, you know, in many of the industries except IT. We also can see that Schneider is in many different countries. We, they're strong in Western Europe, but they also have presences all over the world. The end market is basically uh, non-residential and resi uh, residential buildings, so basically buildings. There's quite a bit of buildings, utilities, industrial and machines, data centers, and networks. So actually, Schneider Electric, I think, compared to ABB, is more as well in the data center and network area, which ABB might not for us, I know. Let's go to the next company to look at Le Grand. Here we have uh, a website that um, uh, is a little bit you know, smaller printed. Let's click on the chairman's message, see what they have to say. Um, uh, I didn't do that, I'm sorry, I didn't do that. Let's click on, well, it's all gone. The ownership is mostly free float. Uh, they have a, a corporate responsibility codex. I think that's probably something that most companies nowadays do. But um, I didn't really find anything really hard facts. You know, at Schneider Electric, I found that they are the number, the number six or so sustainable company in a well-known index. Um, so I like that about Schneider better. Um, this here, for me, is a bit more just blah, blah. Uh, now we go to ABB, very good website. I like the design a lot. Um, let's have a look at what they have here to show, how we work, technology next level, interesting. I wanna go on and uh, have a look at the financial side. I clicked on investors. There's press releases, annual reports. It's all very well. I click on the company profile. So basically, they have businesses in the area of power products. So it's a lot about electricity, power system, again, electricity, automation, and low voltage products, and process automation. Um, yeah, here I see they also work for the oil industry. So maybe I'm more inclined to buy Schneider Electric after all. Uh, let's have a look at the latest press release of ABB. Let's make this a little bit bigger. Um, they've been growing quite a bit. Steady up EBITDA margin. Net income up 4%. So they're still probably, you know, ABB still is a little bit on the slow side, I have the feeling, uh, if I compare that to your channel uh, to, to Schneider Electric. I also know from my professional background that they have a compensation system that holds them back. Uh, ABB is using um, fixed targets, it use, using profits. These are both methods that make companies grow less. Um, at this point, I probably would prefer to invest in Schneider Electric. Um, they even have an energy university operations around sustainability. Let's have a look at what they do in the terms of sustainability, performance, how do they perform uh, in respect to sustainability. Um, they're constantly improving. Yeah, they're, they're doing a lot of scorecard, balance scorecard managing. I think I like um, Channel uh, Schneider Electric, almost a little bit better than ABB. Um, so I gonna buy Schneider Electric. Let's go to trading. Uh, I buy stocks. Let's put it on stocks, and I buy Schneider Electric. You see, I'm basically making my decision based on financial performance which is what you have with the, um, let's see, maybe I have to push my enter here, uh, which you have based on the Obermott stock rank, and then also an overall impression on the company, which I typically derive from the website's channel information. 
I'll be back. We found it. It's uh, 59 euro right now. Um, 59 euro. We want 59 euro in 59 euro in Swiss francs. That's 61, and we want 5,000 divided by 62 to be safe. 80 stocks. Let's take 80 stocks. We buy best, we continue, and we execute. We've bought Schneider Electric, a French industrial conglomerate, very strong in the area of electricity, which I think is good because I think the global, uh, the globe is already warming enough. That's why we went there. ABB also had some uh, oil uh, industry exposure. I assume Schneider has some nuclear industry exposure. That's probably just something we have to live with. And we bought Schneider today for 4,777,000. Mm. Okay, thank you very much for watching and see you next week for the last stock select video this summer. Bye-bye.